What's up everyone and welcome to the new custom catalog portal. In this video, we'll show you how to use the built-in typeset feature to add in personal business information to the cover of a catalog. This is used as a replacement if you don't have a logo of your own to upload to the cover. So with that said, let's get started. We can select the cover we'd like to use by picking out a catalog in the drop-down menu next to our name at the top of the portal. Here we can scroll through a list of covers, each with a priced and non-priced version. Clicking Customize next to any of them will select the cover so we can go about placing our typeset. In the left column, under the area labeled Logo is where we can fill in information about our business. Before we delve into deep though, it's important that the information we type looks good. So right above the blank fields is an option to change the typeface. We have a nice range of options, but if we'd like to see what they would look like before we print them, we can click the link at the top that shows off an example of each font. With an idea of what we want to use, we can select which typeface works best, and go about entering our information into the fields below. We can enter in as much or as little as we want. There is even a spot to add in a tagline. Next, in order to see a preview of the information we just typed in, we need to click Update Proof. This refreshes the PDF thumbnail below with what we just entered, and when we click Open PDF, this shows us the cover we selected with how our business information will look printed on it. With this open, we want to check over the spelling and if the typeface is legible. If it isn't, we can try a new typeface. But from the way this looks, we don't have to change a thing. So we can exit out of the PDF. From here, we can scroll down and enter in our order information. There's a minimum quantity of 32 catalogs needed to place an order. So that's what we'll enter into the text box. We'll check off that we approve our proof, and by clicking Add to Cart, we are taken to review our order. Here, we can change our quantity or remove an order altogether. Selecting Checkout will take us to Billing and Shipping, where we'll be able to finalize our order. With that, our order can be placed and sent off to be printed. If there are any questions that may come up, you can contact catalogs at ssactivewear.com. So until next time, I'll catch you later.